It is the dream of many a comic book writer or artist to have an opportunity to play, however briefly, in the larger sandbox of mainstream comics. The opportunity to bring your own unique style or idea to a proven entity, your Batman, your Spider-Man, can certainly be understood even by the most cynical of creators. Horror comic maven Vampirella has certainly known many fruitful relationships with numerous writers and artists over her decades of existence. But one particularly interesting run caught our attention and gave us pause to wonder why this got made. Paul Cornell is a very talented writer. Let there be no doubt of it. Indeed, he has created a number of wonderful comics across multiple genres. His creativity is not in question. In fact, he was so creative that he got the idea, as the newly appointed writer of Vampirella, to remove her familiar monokini, replacing it with a nightshirt and leggings. He followed this up by audaciously cutting her hair into a Joyce DeWitt bob. He then flung her into a distant dystopian future where she fought future Nazi zombie angels or something or, uh, you know, I don't know, I honestly couldn't finish it. The point is, Cornell's vision would have worked, if not for two things working against him. One, people don't read Vampirella for the articles. And two, whatever planet he was living on, most comic book readers reside on Earth. This is not to say the idea was wholly preposterous. It simply asked too much of the character and her fan base. I mean, you don't see Batman letting anyone else wear the cowl for heaven's sake. What? He did? Several times? Robin? They let Robin be Batman? Twice? Oh, good lord, who was the hack who let that happen? Well, ep ep anyhow. It didn't take long for Vampirella to find her shapely buns back in the fan-favorite piece of Kleenex they call a costume. But before that, history will forever bear witness that she dressed like a cougar on her fourth mimosa in a book that got made. For his part, I'm told Paul Cornell still haunts the streets of London wearing a red nightshirt and black leggings, repeatedly uttering the question, what the hell was I thinking? Over and over again. Madness consuming a once brilliant mind. More's the pity. I'm Carlton Tetley. Good day and good reading.